um i just got wingstop doordash because my car's at my friend's house and she's not gonna be home till five and i was just craving wingstop i was craving it yesterday and my car was still at her house and i tried to order it on doordash and um they wouldn't there weren't during any orders it was off doordash and i guess wait a minute tomorrow okay tomorrow so i just got a message from my doctor that i have a doctor's appointment tomorrow but um they just didn't do any deliveries on for wig stop yesterday which i get they're jam-packed but then they just need to have like double staff they could have made so much money anyways this is the bag i love how it says bag secured i think that's kind of funny um, my only complaint with the bag is it's so big. Like, their boob stops here. And so whenever I leave wing stop, I feel like I'm, you know, like, whoa, we got a lot. Um, I normally get a large. I just forgot to change it, but I got a Coke. Always. I don't really drink any other drinks besides Coke. I'll sometimes get a lemonade if they don't have Coke, but. And then the fries. Their fries are to die for. I would love to know the recipe because they're so good and crisp. delicious hands down wingstop has the best fries i know kfc has really good fries but i think wingstops are a little better in my opinion anyways i just cleaned my room i have a lot to do today oh, i um was on call for work and I don't really understand on call, but I got a random call from a number and I was like, what the fuck? Cause I forgot I was on call. Um, but I have work tomorrow. I'm just gonna show up 10 minutes early and then I'll be like, oh, I didn't have your number saved. Um, anyways, let's get to the good part. The wings. Okay, I would have to say they always do a really good job of saucing their wings. Last time though, it was horrendous, so. It was just like messy everywhere. Yeah, this is what they normally do. Last time I had sauce like all over, just soaking. Um, and it wasn't as good. And then, okay, I know everyone talks about the Ring Stop, Wing Stop Ranch. I'm not a ranch girl. What I do love is cheese. The blue cheese at Wing Stop is to die for. What the actual? Wing Stop also, they never give me forks, but they always give me way too many straws. Oh, no, they didn't. Okay. I'm not complaining, but it's just funny. They gave me a fork, though, this time. Great. Um, if I know, like, a lot of people don't like blue cheese because they think it's gross and, like, it's literally cheese. I don't understand, like, that. I always set it up. I'll show you guys how I set up my wing stop. It's the perfect way to set up. I do it like this. Sauce, fries, wings, drink. You guys are literally on like a Casamigos bottle, which I just found that Casamigos bottle. I shouldn't have taken it and I, I'm not condoning this. I was drunk and I was walking home and there was just a bottle of Casamigos on the ground unopened, like standing up. And so I just took it and Casamigos is like $50. I don't like tequila, Casamigos is good. And I drink like, <sighs> I did not need all that Casamigos. It didn't even get me that drunk, I think. But who knows? Um, you know what I really want to try? I would ugh, my next video I should do that. Um I'm gonna have to wait till I get paid if I don't get fired. Because I missed one of my shifts. I'm just gonna be like, okay, in my defense, my schedule was like changing so much. Because I was supposed to work Tuesday and then I thought I was working today, but I'm on call. Like my schedule was like changing. I'm gonna be like, I'm so sorry, like, um, my schedule changed a bunch of times and I'm still, we use this weird app for scheduling and I'm, it's like really weird. I usually, I've only used when to work um, at my last job. I used that for three years. I knew when to work like the back of my head. But this new app is so confusing. Like it shows like everyone's schedule. I'm like, I don't care about everyone. I care about me. Like, when do I work, you know? Should be like the first thing. Like Claudia, you work now. It's okay, I work tomorrow and I'm gonna like, kiss their asses they were pretty nice and they did tell me when i got hired we we're talking to like yeah it's hella annoying people like don't show up all the time anyways this is so good i put my friends on it because they get ranch and i'm like i thought it was weird i got blue cheese 
all of them were like trying to get a fry with the blue cheese sauce. So I was like, okay, chill. Last night, well, yesterday was a Super Bowl. And look at that. Perfect bite. When people say they want to go to Buffalo Wild Wings, I'm like, like what? Let's give it a buck. Wingstop is way better. Not even close. I'm sorry for the slander, but Buffalo Wild Wings, messy. It's like hella hard. Like Wingstop, the chicken is just so much better. Oh, I'm so sorry. I um didn't tell you guys what I get. I get mild. I would be open to trying more flavors, but mild is so good. Oh, you know what? I people I hate people who get the dry rub wings. I don't like if you get a dry rub. I probably am not going to want to be friends with you, and I'm probably going to talk shit about you behind your back because that is so weird. Like, just get the sauce. I mean, I've never tried it, and, like, that's probably one of my biggest, like, flexes. I've never tried dry rub, and I'm not open to trying it, so. Anyways, yesterday was the Super Bowl, and I, oh, I was all over the place, bro. I was in Scottsdale, and then I went back, and then I was at a sports bar, and I was actually really into the game. Like, I was like, yeah, go Chiefs, because I put, um... 25 bucks on the Chiefs and I ended up making 50. I should have put more, but um, also that's why betting is so dangerous because every time it's like brick. But um, yeah, so I was really hyped for that. I don't like the Eagles because the Eagles beat the 49ers and um, my ex was also his favorite team is the Eagles, so I don't like the Eagles. Um, and I like the 49ers because I'm from San Francisco. Also, like my doctor has been ghosting me. I have really bad ADHD. Like, I don't, okay, oh. Oh, can we talk about this for a second? Sorry, like this is a mukbang, but I'm getting a little mad. People, ADHD, like every, if you tell me, like so many people tell me like, oh yeah, I have, I, I'm pretty sure I have ADHD too. Okay, bitch. Really? Because my, like, uh, I think you would be prescribed with it. Like I literally, I was in high school and like, my teachers just, like, reported that they're, like, she needs to get tested for something. And I remember I was so embarrassed because I get pulled out of class to go, like, to, like, the special testing. And I was, like, what the fuck? And I was, like, why are you getting tested? Are you good? And I'm, like, yeah, it comes back. I have, like, high, severe ADHD. I got tested. It took me, like, two weeks. And it was always at 8 a.m. Oh, oh, my God, it was so awkward. And I had to go to this one other high school. So I went to a private high school, and I had to go to this public high school and there was a girl there that I've written into she knows I don't go to her school and she does not like me because I said some mean things to her because she was calling my boyfriend at the time which I regret now but I was also so young and like so naive that's why like I don't think I ever want a boyfriend again because I'm so, like, I do my own thing. Like, I hate when people rely on me. That's probably, like, my... I guess it's kind of bad. I'm unreliant as fuck. Because... I feel like I was tied down all of high school, right? And, like, it's not his fault because I was, like, like obsessed with, like, hating him. Like, that's all I ever wanted to do was hang out with him. It's like, looking back at it, it's like, what the fuck is your problem? But, and then last year, I feel like I just hung out with these, like, I had, like, a small-ass friend group. And now, I have, like, I have, like, three main, 
three different friend groups and I just kind of bounce, bounce, like my roommates. And then like, um, I call them my Apache friends cause, oh, I can tell you, that's the street they live on, but you guys don't know where, so. And then my neighbors, Eli and Eric, who like, bro, hey, hanging out with, when you hang out with guys, I feel like judged. Like, I feel like people are like, oh, she's so pick me. But, bro, I'm not fucking pick me. If I was pick me, I would be trying to like, fuck them. Like, ugh. Like, they don't understand. Like, I literally tell them everything. I literally woke up at their house. Okay, that sounds pick me. But I was on the floor because I got locked in my place because I left my keys at my friends. Oh. But anyways, yeah, so I haven't had my Adderall in like two weeks and it's affected me so much. I can't wait to tell my doctor how much it's affected me. I started biting my nails, hella, and then I bit my nails, but I'm just gonna tell her that so she feels bad. And then I um, freaking missed, I there's a test and I missed it because I was fucking running around drunk and I forgot. And then I was like, oh, I take my test. I looked, it's one o'clock. Test was due at 12. So I'm gonna do that today. Hopefully, I think it's only a 10% deduction. But, like, ugh, I'm so much smarter on Adderall. And, like, I'm all over the place. And I missed work twice. Technically, twice. I was on call, but, yeah, twice. Um, like, I feel like shit. And last week, or, like, two weekends ago when I had my Adderall, I was literally, like, going to class, going to fucking work, like, every day, 8 a.m. up. Barely drank. I'm not the- Ugh, this is also another reason. Sorry. I am crazy a little when I don't have my medicine. And I used to not be like this crazy without my medicine, but once you're on a medicine and you get off of it, it's like so like so weird. The first like couple days I was literally like running around like my friend's apartment or like I was just walking around and she's like, cause I was like bored, I don't know. Um, I just can't think straight. Like my, my hands like, dot, dot, dot. like, I just thought like, oh, those crackers are good over there. I want some and then I was like, oh, I have food right here. Like, that's what I think intrusive thoughts um yeah anyways i'm gonna eat this wing this one's a small one So, today I'm just doing homework. Okay, I'm gonna give wing stop. I'm gonna finish it up now. Out of 10, I'm gonna give it today's wing stop. That's the thing, wing stop is different. Like, one time, oh, I was so pissed. I ordered an eight piece. And, like, yeah, there were eight pieces. Fucking two of the pieces were this big. I'm like, that does not count. You should just let me have that for free. But, um, today's wing stop. Let's see pretty good oh i got fat chick okay like whatever i mean i'm not complaining because it's a hella but like this is not a bite bro this is like a leg um i'm not complaining though because it's big wait how many did i get eight two one two three four one two three four five six yeah they did me hella well today i thought they were gonna count this as two because it technically is two it's, ch it's just fucking chicken tender um, I'll give it a 9 out of 10, because I don't like to rate anything a 10, because there's always room for improvement. Alright. Bye.